Hey guys, what's going on? It's Toast the Sater here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to build your own wooden cabin house in your own worlds. I should be saying mansion from the sheer size I made it, but overall I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial video. If you're new around here, subscribe and hit that bell for more videos just like this one. With all that being said, let's get right into the video. Alrighty, so today's build was an idea I thought would be a great build for what I have been doing for past couple of days. These two days, it's been pretty snowy outside and got snowed in for two days, thus making me not having school for those two days. I love winter season and especially the trees and for the light snow that just covers all the branches. It's just, it looks amazing, man. It's so cool. An idea clicked into my head saying, hey, you should do a wooden cabin snow themed wood cabin build for your channel and hey why not do a tutorial video for it and that's why this video exists on the channel just a disclaimer here before we get right into the tutorial this world will be the world i will be doing all my tutorial builds on so get ready to see myself and a lot of other people flying around because there were quite uh, quite a lot of people who joined the world don't be shy guys, join up on this world. This is going to be where all the tutorial builds are going to be built. And of course you can join them up for the tutorials and for your own inspiration. I got a few other people building here as well. So come check it out, not just of my builds, but some of other people's builds as well. If you do want some inspiration, not just from me, but from everyone. Overall, okay. hope you guys do enjoy and let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, so the first thing you want to do is pick out your blocks of what you're going to be using for your build. For the house, I will be making you guys, I use the blocks on screen, but if you wish to switch up any sort of block that you want to use in your build, for example, a different type of wood or terracotta or anything in mind, you can do so. You don't have to use the blocks in this video, but for the sake of this tutorial, I will be using most of the blocks up on screen. What I'm doing is just placing down the blocks to make a pallet for myself for what I am about to make. It gives me and others a vision of what colors you are going to be working with. And keep in mind, you don't have to place down blocks for a pallet like I do and what other people do, but it's just helpful just to see what type of colors and what you're going to be working with. So if you want to get into pallets and whatnot, then I might make a pallet video maybe later on down in the future, what blocks go good with which blocks but as of right now just placing down the blocks so you have just an idea of what I'm going to be using. Step number two is what you're going to be doing is finding a place where your house slash cabin is going to be made. Is it going to be maybe on a cliffside near a river or the most appropriate a snowy spruce forest would really suit this build. That's really how I got my inspiration from this. Overall find the spot you want to start your build just Find where it is, if it's on a super flat overworld, it doesn't matter, find where you want to build it. I made a little framework at the bottom and then started building the terrain up top because that's where I wanted the kind of whole structure of the cabin. I wanted the cabin to be integrated inside of the actual terrain and then having a little bit of framework at the bottom for a overhang and whatnot. Notice how I only did the framework at the bottom, keep that of mind. If you're not building your cabin on top of a stone pedestal or any sort of terrain like I did, the process of building a cabin or a house is pretty much the same, pretty straightforward as if you were not going to do it with. So just keep following the tutorial and it's pretty much the same step guys. Next, I started to frame more of the cabin on top of the terrain. This is where the main structure of my cabin will be built. So of course, like I said, if you don't want to build terrain, then you can just follow the tutorial, keep going forward and just, you get the idea. If you just place blocks all willy nilly, the cabin is not going to look right. You need a foundation with your framework. Try to make it as realistic as possible with multiple different windows and levels of the actual build itself. I have seen way too many box houses um, that try way too much to be a house, yet nowhere near close to have creativity or style. Making multiple different shapes and heights towards 
windows, roofs, and beams will make your cabin a successful build and will give a lot more character within your building style. Once you got your framework to your liking, it's time to fill in the house, which is going to be step number four. With your main blocks, my main block for filling in the walls was spruce wood logs. So you, of course, you can use any sort of wood that you desire, but I use spruce wood. Anyhow, in my build, I used a dark oak wood for the pillars and beams, while I used spruce planks for the walls of my build. Start by filling each area and not to touch the roof just yet. That's our next step towards this cabin. So firstly, you just want to fill in the walls. Alrighty, so step number five is going to be after you filled in your walls, start moving on top of the roof of the cabin itself. For my cabin, I wanted a balcony lounge. So I started with that roof first, making my way to the other higher point of the cabin. I started low and then I started to progress up to higher points. For my roof, I use brown terracotta, but if you're not comfortable with building roofs with terracotta or any sort of block, then I suggest using dark oak wood stairs and planks for the roof. Either or, they both do what you would like for your build. It's still gonna be the same, but for me and my roofs, I like to do them with terracotta and other blocks. For maximum space within your cabin, try to make it as much space as possible um, when you're connecting your roofs with others. Uh, for example, if you have a bunch of all connecting of the same roof, but there's just a bunch of other cluttered blocks, you don't want that. You want as much space as you possibly want within your roof. If you're gonna be making like an attic or maybe some bedrooms within your roof, then I suggest really making a lot of room as much as you can. For my cabin, I made symmetry with both sides. If I really made myself a fairly simple job when putting each roof over and under each other, and it just made a really, really easy job. When connecting your roof as well, go with the other windows and beams. If you stray away from your frame, it will look not really proper towards the whole build, and it will look off. It'll make it look just uncentered. It'll make it look weird. So try to make your roofs when connecting them, try to make them as aligned as possible. Already with step number six, with the whole house basically built, it's now time to add detail within your builds. I know I'd love to. Adding detail to your cabin and any build can really make a difference and it really shows. When you are detailing, try to stay on one side and start to move to other walls and places. You don't want to be messing up your detailing. I started out on the front and made my way around the house kind of like clockwise way just to give myself a bearing of which side I have done and which side I haven't done. Just keep track of which sides you're doing or which sides you're not. You don't have to go in a kind of clockwise way, but that's kind of what I do and it works well for me. For my detailing, I used mainly spruce stairs and slabs for the main details and fences along the beams for more aspect and detail. For the walls, I like to sprinkle in a different or similar block to give it more texture and overall more detail and it just looks stunning right afterwards when I do it. So if that's something you want to do, then that is definitely something you can do for more detail. Again, overall, adding detail to your build will make it pop and definitely will make a real difference when you're doing your build and definitely for this cabin. Alrighty guys, so the next step is the chimney. What's a cabin without a chimney, am I right? That's where we are going to be going next. I went to one of the corners of the houses and near the front entrance and I started to place down my chimney on the corner of the cabin and I used cobblestone with cobblestone slabs and cobble walls for more detail and texture. I went for a more natural and realistic chimney instead of a rock solid chimney to give it character and depth. I do see some chimneys where it's just a huge just pillar, that's it and done. It just looks plain, looks old, it doesn't look nice, all right? If you wanna make a good chimney, just look up on screen, you wanna make it nice and texturized with the many different cobble blocks and you don't even have to use cobble. I've seen chimneys made out of stone brick and regular stone as well. For the smoke, I used black, gray, and a touch of white stained glass for the smoke, giving it a more lifelike effect. 
If you don't feel comfortable with making smoke with stained glass, then I suggest you use cobwebs as they are pretty well for imitating smoke as well. They are pretty darn good if you don't like to dive into the stained glass building world. Alrighty, for step number eight, you don't have to do this, but I definitely wanted to do this for my cabin. So if you want to add a snowy kind of deep forest or a nice wood cabin within a nice thick forest with a bunch of snow, then this is going to be step number eight for you. So for the cabin, I wanted to top it off with a nice blanket of snow. I started on the top of the roof, making my way around the build until it was completely covered. Try to keep the colors of your roof visible by not covering your whole roof with snow. As you can see, I cover a pretty good portion, but still has enough to see that the roof is visible from afar. I used snow blocks and the snow carpet for the height variance to make more detail and depth within the build on top of the roof. Again, you don't have to add the snow, but this is something I wanted a part of my cabin. That's really what this inspiration for the video was. I just had the idea of a snowy cabin, but of course you can do whatever you wish to. Alrighty, so the last step, step number nine, is going to be with the roof covered in snow, it is now time to detail the build around you. Start by placing snow all around your build and then start adding details around your cabin for more lifelike looks. After I placed my snow, I touched up my cabin with a few spruce trap doors, buttons, and a few more things to make the house a little more detailed and texturized. After that, I added a little pathway to the entrance alongside with some fire lamps and a few other things scattered around the outside of the build. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much it on how you can build yourself a wood cabin in Minecraft. I should be calling this thing a freaking mansion from the sheer size I made it, but it turned out beautifully as always, and in the end, I love it. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you enjoyed it, toss a like, and if you're new around here, subscribe and hit that bell for more videos just like this one. Just another disclaimer, guys, again, this world will be the world for all of my tutorial videos, and of course, for all you lovely people, if you'd like to join up for some inspiration on many different types of builds, I can't wait to fill this up with a bunch of tutorials, with a bunch of builds, so get ready to see a bunch of other tutorial videos coming your way in the near future. Anyhow, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and that pretty much wraps up this whole entire video here. I hope to see you guys soon, and uh, yeah, peace out. See ya.